For God so loved the world. Does anybody know what that means? Yes. What does it mean? It means he loves the world. He loves... Does he only love specific people in the world? No. Does he only love small children? No. Does he only love the elderly? No. He loves everybody? In the world. In the world. Okay. John 3.16 is one of the most powerful verses in the whole Bible. But I wonder, do you know what it means and how important it really is? No. Okay. It tells us Jesus' whole purpose in just a few short words. So let's take a minute to really learn what Jesus was saying. Natalie, you want to go ahead and read me your verse, please? For God so loved the world. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you believe that God really does love the whole world? Yes. The good, bad, rich, poor, young, old, sick, healthy, angry, and joyful? Yes. God loves us all, right? Yes. He loves those who love him, and he loves those who hate him. Do you know why that is so important? Mm. It means that you don't have to earn God's love. He already loves you, and there's absolutely nothing that you could do that could change his love. Does that make you feel a little bit better? Yes. We all sin, but it's nice to know that God still loves us no matter what. Okay, so next section. Isabella, you want to go ahead and read me your scripture, your portion? He gave his one and only son. If you think that maybe God doesn't love you, just think about this part. God loved you so much that he gave up his his own son for you. God knew he needed a perfect sacrifice and he knew his son Jesus was the only one who could be sacrificed. And why do you think we need the perfect sacrifice? What does the next section, that's in our next section, what does it say, Natalie? That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John With that? 316. Thank you so much. With that perfect sacrifice, we can live forever with God. And that's God's biggest wish. Raise your right hand if you are happy to know that God loves you. Keep it up. Raise your hand up, 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 up. Okay, now raise your left hand if you're happy Jesus took your place as a sacrifice. Keep it up. Up, 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 up. Let me see those hands. If you want to live in heaven with, with God and Jesus forever and ever, how do we get there? Going up. By going up, 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 up. That's in the verse too. All we have to do is believe in God. We don't have to be perfect or grown up or smart. You can put your heads down now. Or super smart. We just have to believe in God. Put our faith and trust in Him and love Him in return. God loves you and you love God. Let's read our Bible verse one more time, please. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16